course frozen. Maybe I can... Would you just let me do it? So what was your plan anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is, yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck. Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. I'm not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. Quite enough excitement for one day. No way. We're so close. Oh dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. I... Fine. Just step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet vessel, I wish it did. See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again, if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself. Want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. Keep going. Are you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan. Rock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is life and death. Yeah, and this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living. Living is an option. <sighs> okay. Now which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward. I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right.
See me now. He would lose it. I wouldn't have to hide things if he'd just trust me. How can I trust you if you lie? Actually, that's a good point. Maybe if you listen to me, could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? Trust her. Why won't you tell me?
guess I'm going the right way. Really wish I had a compass. I got this, right? Yeah. Freya shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. Down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes! I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha! You do have doubts! Hey! Like you never do? Better than having regrets. I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those too! Yep, that's the door. Just be sure to scream if she starts killing you! Thanks, I feel so much better now. Hey, Freya! What, can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah, she probably would mentioning that. Is that Freya? Am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh, I'm so dead. Here 
There goes nothing. with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What <laughs> makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this. Take your life on it. What do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? You mean to plead for your father, save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin, nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, you learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The Giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin, somehow. But since all the Giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then you've already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Tear is alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Swartalfarm. Impossible. The nine realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father.
Okay, so I'm not dead, but I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time, which I will never, ever admit to Sindri. <laughs> Good thing I like climbing. Ski off him! Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I was starting to think. Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! Oh. Ha! Give me a second! Yup! <laughs> Nightmares! I'm gonna be sick! <laughs> I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. Do they ever quit? Alfheim Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at all his Gotham, you have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. Really? Now? <laughs> Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No, I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean? A choice? I... I couldn't be alone. 
The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? I hate coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted to... Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back. And you just act natural, but quickly. That is not the risk that concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom, and this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus. Where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry! I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this... sausage? Sure, why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. 
I accept. What? Uh, Trey is who I planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. I'm with the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. You better than the seer who saw everything. Hmm. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey! Don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Here, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So, where'd this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we set to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a lost step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. <laughs> That ought to hurt him. What can I make for you? Wear it with pride. He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. 
Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Sir? Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. <clears throat> My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. <laughs> that delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. <laughs> ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And the particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of, bitter? Would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, You'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. Svartalfheim remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Fun yet, it's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Enhryar? I thought Enhryar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole, activated his forces early as a standing army. 
Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. me. What? You just came to stare? Wait, are those Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. can't read them. They seem to like us, though. One hopes. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. Do we have to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. Uh, let's do it! Like there was something else. Brock, what do you think about? I don't. Either your life's all written down somewhere or it ain't. Still feels like you're making choices either way. 
The shit smells the same regardless of how it got shat. Remind me to write that down. There's something over here. Ah, a memory of war. You could use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. Mimir, I know this sounds weird, but can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul, and every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the Lake of Souls in Alfheim, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, aye, it's well on its way. Ah, there you are. I knew you hadn't Master forgotten Master Kratos, me. I would speak with you. Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes, and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? Here. I suppose we all have we our off days. Up in your care to try again? Of the squirrels that first with easy to jump. I am already here, Master Kratos. as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. He seemed better in Alphine. <laughs> Did they now? Alphine. I'm not so sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that.
see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. Desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. And music. The song of the sands, mm. they called it. Gone now. Another victim of war. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. Go! Go! 